I feel like currently there's tremendous amount of pressure on people of color to just receive the vaccine because it's what everyone is doing. I want people in my community and in the black community to know that it is okay to ask questions. It is okay to feel nervous. Some of the things that have been said to me from people in the community, there's a general fear um, of getting uh, vaccinated. A lot of people feel that it, I've heard anything from, you know, it's a government planned pandemic and this is sort of an opportunity for the government to track you know, people of color. I've even heard a lot of misinformation uh, with regard to some of the side effects and symptoms of getting vaccinated. I, I want to reassure whoever's hearing this that nothing has been skipped. That is unethical when you talk about clinical research. It seems like a, a lot of this is fast forward, but you have to look at it in context that there's been a lot of studies around the coronavirus. So this is a type of coronavirus, but there, there are different types of coronaviruses in the past that there's been robust research around, funding around, that helped us uh, as a nation, as a world, uh, to kind of start on a, a better footing as far as developing a vaccine. So it's not new, it really is just newer research that's been built upon prior research that's been done in the, in the past, so probably over the last 10 years or so even. There's been people who have been close to me who have um, suffered or even lost their lives from the pandemic. Um, and you know, as a doctor, I care very deeply about uh, the people I care for, and then just the people that I know and, and, and love. So seeing that um, prompted me uh, to, to do my own research about the vaccines that are out. Um, and after doing that, I do believe that I trust the science behind it. I trust the, the trials and the rigor that's been put behind them. I decided to get the vaccine for two reasons. The first reason is because I trust science. And the second reason is because I wanted to be an example for my community. However, I understand that our government system and our healthcare system has not earned the trust of people of color. I hope that by sharing my example and my experience that I'm able to help my community and people in my network trust science a little like I do. So I hear a lot from patients to Tuskegee experiments, right? Um, and, and how these populations have been marginalized, they've been experimented, uh, they've been exploited, right? So we understand that context, but even still, consider this, this push, this, this initiative to get this vaccine rolled out to our populations as an act of good faith. Now it's important for us to address these concerns and have these conversations in order for people to feel comfortable receiving the vaccine. My experience getting the vaccine was very, very um, mundane. So um, some of the common side effects that if you look at the trials, they'll mention fatigue, headache, um, you know, maybe body aches or chills, things of that nature. Uh, the only thing I had was just some local site soreness to my shoulder and that lasted for less than 24 hours and went away with Tylenol. I had severe chills, um, but following that night, I woke up to a pretty normal day. Honestly, I would say it was just one night of side effects. It actually wasn't that bad. I, just the idea of being cold and not being able to warm up was probably the most inconvenience that I had. I think it was incredibly important for people in my community to see someone that they consider a leader leading by example to help restore some of the trust that has been lost over the years between the black community, uh, the federal government, and scientific institutions. It's most important for you to make an informed decision. Your healthcare provider can help answer any questions that you have. My background and training is in microbiology and molecular genetics. I was actually pretty proud as an RNA biologist of how the vaccine was developed and, and, and the piece of RNA that they use to sort of provide that um, immunity that we need to get beyond this. Literally your body uses the mRNA, which is in the vaccine, to create a protein called the S protein. Um, and once you make that, so essentially what your body's doing is it's creating antibodies or this, this protective response against a protein that's on the coronavirus itself. It kind of gives your body a heads up. It says, hey, if you see a protein like this uh, in the future, uh, attack it, code it, and disarm it. 
so that it does not cause problems in the body. About every weekend, I've had conversations with people in my community. Um, I've walked them through the, the biology in lay terms. I have talked to them about my own experience getting uh, vaccinated, and that has been helpful. I took it to social media to share my experience. I documented from the very first second after I received my dose what that experience was like, what I was feeling. I felt like that was particularly important because I received so many messages from friends and family and even strangers that were like, thank you so much for sharing this. My family had created this, this um, Facebook group, messenger group, where they would ask each other questions. And there's a little bit of conspiracy theory type stuff going in on there. Like, you know, there's tracking devices and the vaccine and all that stuff. I said, time out. Here's what we should do. Let's have a town hall. <laughs> and I, you know, I just put out a message on social media and I said, okay, I, I'm gonna, well, I'll do a talk on a Friday night. No one's going anywhere. <laughs> You're available, uh, come with your questions. As I was talking and having these, these dialogues, uh, I could literally see some people's minds changing. And, and some of my family members said, you know what? I think I will get that vaccine now. Unfortunately, our lives is what is at stake if we don't receive the vaccine. The CDC recently updated its uh, racial health disparities with COVID and it shows that People of color are four times more likely to become hospitalized of COVID and three times more likely to die of COVID. It's terrifying. This virus, it's really not about the individual. It's gonna take a concerted effort from everyone in every community to get beyond this. And the longer we wait to get vaccinated, the more possibilities this virus has to mutate. We are being called to respond in a way that may feel uncomfortable for us. But I hope that people feel comfortable doing their research and asking uncomfortable questions in hopes for them getting to a healthier, safer community in Chicago.